Hello, hello. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. I've had a lot of food. I had a really good bit too for a while over eight. I had pasta, which I cooked, and then some meatball bolognese, which my mum cooked, times two. Even though I didn't need it, really. I did not need that second portion. But I ate it anyway. And now, here we are. I've got to clean up. There's, there's literally, I can see one chicken wing on the table, on, on, uh, on top of the, the takeaway paper that wrapped the polystyrene box. I've got to clean up and organise the place a bit. It's certainly quite messy, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I've been looking at gyms around the area and there's this place that has what I'm looking for but maybe without dips I'm not sure and I've got to ask them about the scale but very basically this is a a lot more of a crossfit gymnastics based gym that I'm interested in going to which is significantly further away than the one I currently go to but I think it's worth going to because it's got the crossfit element and the gymnastics rings which I've seen on their online profile I looked there because the laptop's there um, it seems like I might be able to get a lot more help there with moves and sessions than I might have done at the gym I currently go to because the gym, the gym, the gym, the G Y M, not C H Y M, the G Y M that I go to certainly does have personal training session sessions that you could go to, but it's not CrossFit or gymnastics based. Whereas I think this one is. I'm not sure if I said this, but just in case if I didn't, I'll say it again. They've got these um you've got an option where you can drop in and it's it's certainly expensive a lot more expensive for one day's worth of sessions but you can drop in for 10 pound now for one day's worth of gym going that's expensive or that that's that's quite costly especially compared to where I go at the moment per session that's that costs a lot more I'm thinking of moving on I'm thinking of going to this gym eventually on the premise that I really like it um, I'll see how it goes pardon me but I certainly want to go in and drop in for £10 again Compared to the monthly membership price of the gym that I go to at the moment, it's it's a lot. Per per day's worth of gym going is a lot. But I think it's worth it. I can afford ten pound for one day's worth of gym going. Short term I can afford that. Long term I can't. I think it, that's not something I'd want to do even if I could afford ten uh, 10 pound a day long tab I wouldn't want to I think that's just unnecessarily costly ideally I've been, think, I've been thinking about this as I've been saying I'd I'd much rather just create my own home gym I'd, create, I'd much rather get um, start renting a place and create some some space at home where I'd be living Strictly for gym, whether it be portable or not portable, and I'd also have a scale which I've been thinking of getting, which would cost a couple hundred pounds or more. There's this high end um, scale which looks like really, really pleasant that I'd want to get. It's a portable one, it is massive and it costs quite a bit. And I might do later on, but just not at the moment. However, for the scales that cost about two hundred plus, that's certainly I'm more I'm willing to invest millions into my health, millions of Great British pounds. 
I'm more than willing to invest millions of, uh, into my health long term because it's my health and I value my health so if that means I'm going to gym and that probably costs hundreds over decades that probably costs hundreds of thousands but hey <clears throat> I'd rather it be that way than not spend than spend that money on takeaways and other things yeah um I'm yet to to pay. I haven't yet signed myself up, but I will do just to try it out. I was actually quite confused as to where it was. I'll I'll actually no no I won't say that. For anonymity reasons, I won't say that. Um, is there anything else? Man, I don't really think there is. You know. As for the gym stuff, nah, that's it. I want to move on. That's it, man. I think gym related, those are the only thoughts I have left to say. I want to move on from the gym I currently go to. But I want to also be able to go to this new gym now. And ideally have a scale that can measure body mass, um, uh, body fat mass. Body fat mass, muscle mass, fat free mass, bone weight, weight, BMI, etc. I'm not willing to give that up. The gym I currently go to has that, or well, the staff have that. And I asked the staff if I could use it. They say yes, and did I use it? But, um, yeah, I want, I want to be able to use that sort of scale. That's something I'll never be willing to give up. I've got to be very down, very, very down financially to give that up. That's just too much valuable information about myself to give up, in my opinion. I can use that to build muscle. I could use that to have a um, an idea of where my health is through my BMI. Although saying that, BMI doesn't take muscle composition into account, so I do have to be careful with that. But it it does help, especially with the muscle mass calculation. It it would help. But yeah, it's time to move on. I didn't explain why. I don't. I, I have. I don't think I've yet explained why I'm. I'm saying this. Is very generally speaking. Or very basically, it's because I'm not interested in just general weightlifting, which people do. There, there aren't many people that do CrossFit sort of stuff. And the one odd person that does, I've got their contact. If they didn't, I would miss speaking to them for sure. But I have their contact, so that's that's fine. I would be missing out there. Um, if I don't get any more contacts and I just immediately switch to this gym there would be a few people that I'd be speaking to especially the person that allows me to get such such valuable information about my body my body fat mass my BMI my fat free mass my muscle mass etc I would be speaking to that person because I don't have their contact but it's not like I can't pop in and say hello. And after doing that, it's not like... And in doing that, it's not like I can't get their phone number. Yeah. Um, anything else to say? Yeah, actually... Particularly about how I'd view women at the gym there. I would... I It seems like... I'd, I'd be making it very difficult for myself to see... Um, wanted to talk to women... Outside of their sexual attractiveness. 
because of what they do there. Your typical lower body workouts. Their bobs bouncing up and down the squats. I certainly do have it in me to be able to see a woman pass their sexual attractiveness in this. Something that I really want to do. It's more than possible. But I find it difficult to do that when it's just lower body, they're just doing lower body workouts. It is them doing the workouts, but my mindset is because of me. It's my mindset and my response to what they're doing. I don't have to look and I don't have to view what they're doing in a sexual way. And I wouldn't say that I do consciously, although I might, but more so subconsciously. It could be a whole load of thoughts that I haven't yet worked through and that I need to work past, uh, I need to overcome. And I think going to a CrossFit gym would make it a lot easier to do that because I'd, it'd be, I'd find it a lot easier to see women my age or slightly older past their sexual attractiveness if we have something in common like them being better at me or them having a more developed ability to do um, CrossFit stuff or calisthenic stuff or yoga stuff I just for the most part wanted I just for the most part want to talk to women because I'd find them sexually attractive and that's it I want to look past that. I don't want to just see women as an outlet to um, an outlet to what an outlet to express. No, an outlet to use my sexual energy. I don't want to. I don't want to do that, or to feel fulfill sexual fantasies that I might have in my head from watching a whole load of porn. I, I don't want to see women as just that anymore. And it's it would be. I think I find it more difficult to do that if I don't. If I'm not seeing women. Um. do exercises that I'm interested in. I wouldn't even necessarily say that they'd have to be better at me to for me to not look or for me to be able to look past their sexual attractiveness. It's just that we just have to be doing something that's, that's the same, basically, I think. That said, I might be wrong, though. Yeah. These are thoughts I think I should work through. Or maybe what would help is to not work through them. Me finding it difficult to look past a woman's sexual attractiveness. Or me looking constantly looking at a woman's sexual attractiveness, it could be to do with my motives and if I go out of my way to um, not consciously think for a sec and actually look at what's around me and pay attention to reality I don't think I'd have such a an issue with it if I just stay silent not speak and not consciously think I wouldn't have such a problem because it's not the the ladies' tight clothing that matters here really, but rather my thoughts to seeing them. I could just be looking at them in that way to try and fill a void of boredom. Because outside of the gym, 
I wouldn't really be doing much. I'd be on YouTube. I'd be, in, in my opinion, chronically online. I'd be on it so many, so many hours throughout each day. It's ridiculous. And I've given myself a reason to do that. These videos. I see so many bum cheeks online. It's something that I'm no longer doing as much through no longer watching gym hall videos, but even still with like workout videos. The clothing's tight, and with tight clothing, it's going to be eye catching because it's tight. So, if I were to watch a woman doing gym videos, I'm probably looking at her bum. Because the clothing's tight. And also because I would be watching them do like gymnastics, for example. If I were watching women do like gymnastics or CrossFit stuff, what I'm genuinely interested in, rather than just your, your stereotypical lower body workouts where women would, women would be working towards having unnecessarily large bum cheeks. I wouldn't have such an issue. This is all... My thoughts... are my responsibility. I was going to say this is my fault. And I, I suppose I'd be wanting to go out my way to blame myself for these things because I see it as a problem but I don't I can't keep I can't keep myself accountable without blaming myself I think I don't have to necessarily see this is like the end of the world or something like that <laughs> yeah I don't have to beat myself up over this is what I'm trying to say This silence, that few seconds silence, if I allow myself to just have that, without no speaking, no conscious thought, that would be a large chunk of my way of thinking that I want to overcome, solved. I really want to look past the lady's sexual attractiveness. And it's more than possible. But I don't think I'm going to this gym is the right place to do that. Because there are many women that would be doing lower body workouts. And I don't really see women at the gym I go to wearing loose, hugging trousers. Me seeing them in a sexual way because of that, that's on me. But um, just like how it's on me that I'd see them in that way. It's on me to remove myself from that sort of area. I'd rather not. I'd rather not really go to gym at all. And just create my own home gym. That would solve this. Because I'd be removing myself from that sort of area where girls would be following that stereotypical mantra of just training lower bodies and, and building your glutes building your glutes oh my gosh leave it out man I don't think if a if a lady were if I saw a lady at a rock climbing place for example I don't think I'd be looking at them because of their sexual attractiveness first there'd be so much interesting shit going on I'd imagine that I would not care about that and I'd, I'd instead be looking at them like a human being and not Pornhub on a stick. <sighs> Apologies for the lighting, by the way. I'm not controlling it, it's kind of just doing it itself. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think I'll leave it at that for now. Why not? Just we finito. Need to get myself some water in. 
um, allow myself to just experience silence for a sec and remove myself from being chronically online allow myself to have something to do outside of just this gym stuff and outside of just watching a whole load of roadmen pingu that's what I've been watching at the moment remove myself from the internet where I can see a whole load of bum cheeks that would that would help that would help women wearing tight clothing isn't the issue it's my my way of thinking and also the fact that I could get a boner from seeing that that's the issue not to say that I have no, that was the last time I did that was a while ago but yeah um, I just want out from that way of thinking I want out and it's possible I have to stop going to that gym regularly and stop watching all them fucking workout videos not that I'd regularly watch them at least recently but just looking at women like controlling my sex drive is what I want to do basically that's what I'm saying But I don't know, I don't, I haven't yet mastered it, I'm not quite sure how. I think it's all to do with, I've been ex I was experimenting with this yesterday, or maybe the day before, and I think it's to do with, no, nah, nah, I'm, I'm almost certain it was yesterday, I think it's to do with where I place my mental and physical energy from thinking sexual thoughts you'd experience physiological responses to boner and I would also experience a sort of chilling sensation in my back like some sort of weights being released those would be my physiological responses to seeing sexual activity on the internet through participating in voyeuristic activities and um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say that was a whole lot of voyeurism I was doing by watching porn though by definition voy um, a voyeur is someone that experiences sexual pleasure from watching other people naked uh, no not other people naked other people Participating in sexual activity, yeah, and that's basically what people are doing on um, through watching porn up. That's man. Me seeing it in this way is has meant that I've I've stopped watching porn. It wasn't something that I do every day, but um, I I guess that's that problem solved through seeing it that way. I'm going to try and change the brightness, that's not helping. Okay. Um, damn. Yes, that's it. Mine's kind of gone blank. I'm going to pay for the gym membership. A monthly membership over there is a lot more expensive. Well, it costs a lot more. It costs a lot more than the gym membership I'm currently going to. But I think it's worth it. Because it has the stuff that I want there. Yeah. But anyway, I think I'm done for now. I'll leave it at that because the mind's gone blank. I just wanted to see what my face looked like from that angle rather than this one. Because it looks like I'm putting on quite a bit of weight. Or quite a bit of body fat from this angle. Jaw doesn't look so sharp. I remember it once doing I could be bloating from eating maybe maybe not I don't know but I have been eating a lot however just we finito I'm done for now I'll leave it at that because the mind's gone blank so 
cheers to working through those thoughts and cheers to moving on from this gym eventually yeah and getting the scale which does do all the muscle mass body fat mass um, measurements at home cheers to buying one of them a blood pressure monitor as well I've been wanting to get that for a while now maybe well over half a year haven't done it I need to get a job which in fact I genuinely think I'm very close to because all of the coursework I've done all the coursework now I just need to get Mark so yeah like I've made quite a bit of progress with less progress than I thought I needed to make but enough progress to get everything done coursework wise I just need to do my CV and then get my qualifications and that's me applying for work as a level 2 gym instructor and then eventually a level 3 personal trainer and that should be more than enough for me to move out get a deposit on a uh, on a flat and um, do what I have to do from there